The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Tom in Derry, New Hampshire. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Mr. O'Brien, how are you today? I'm doing great, man. How you been? This is like old time this week. I heard Rick from British Columbia I... waiting to hear Greg from Long Island. I like that. Totally, <laughs> man. Totally. By the way, your website, unbelievable. Watching that thing change over the years. You guys are doing a bang-up job. You get great guests and. Uh... Uh, well, listen. Keep up the good work, man. We I, we appreciate you being out there. We never can do it without all you tigers and tigresses, Tom. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go ten hours a day. We go twenty-four hours a day in the internet at tfnn.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on gross. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, kicking into a three-day weekend. Markets are closed on Monday. Let's make it a great one. Always have a plan and believe in it. Nothing good happens by accident. Chuck Knox. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 364, NASDAQ off 117, S&P's down 39, gold contract up $15.20, trading at 1,088 an ounce. Silver up 15 cents, $13.90 an ounce. Now, gold continues to catch a bid. Silver got a bid, got over the $14 area, $13.90. Silver still has to get back over that $14 area. Oil. Down a buck sixty-five, $29.55. The, the uh, $230, the oil contract closed. The pit closes. Bottom line, closed below 30 bucks. Bonds, the 10 year up 26, 128.15. 30 year up one full point, 20 plus 22 ticks, 159.05. Bonds continue to look like they top. Now, the 30 folks did this. The 30 is at all time highs. The 10 moved higher. Gave it up, come off the high, um, which in the context of bonds, the Dow Industrials at one point during the day were down 500 bucks, folks. That 10 years should have went to the moon, and it didn't. Someone is still selling bonds on a continual basis. King dollar. King dollar down 180 ticks, 98.97. The euro is at 109, and the yen is trading at 117.04. Our phone number is 877 927 -6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, volatility in spades, all of the above. You're coming into the lows that were established out here on the 24th. The spike low is 182.40 inside the SPY. That level down there, we had done 500 million. They're doing 249 million, uh, which is big volume, by the way, okay? Uh, on the daily, on the weekly, what you're going to see is this. The, the weeklies are set up. The weekly also has massive volume. You've done 1 billion shares thus far. That went into the swing point from October 2nd, blew that away, which had 843 million shares. And you're pushing into this downdraft from the uh, August 24th area, which has 1.6 billion. The correlation, just so, so you can see, when we're at highs, the S&P did 466 million uh, in November, no, week of November 6th. It turned around, and the week of November, four, December 14th, it did 670 million. So you can see what's happening here. Bottom line is that you're going south, and you're going south with volume. Now, that being said, I still expect you're going to see a B to a C uh, bounce. This is, uh, you know. Bottom line, that's how this baby is set up right now. It's actually even more deviant that you went higher yesterday, pulled right back down. 12.30 today, market spiked down. They got a good number on the um, Dow Industrials, meaning a good number down, over 500 bucks. The three Qs, what do we have with the three Qs? Three Qs right now are down $3.13, 77 million shares, big numbers, no two ways about that. That's on the daily. On the weekly, what you have, is that you get monster volume there. The weekly is at 322 million. That's after making a high with 158 million and 126 million. You're going into 233 million. Uh, so it's uh, 
but you can see that you broke down the October 2nd level. Uh, you, you certainly didn't break down the level from August 24th. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line with gold. Gold caught a bid once again. Uh, and this is really intriguing. Why? Because you're going into a three-day weekend. They could have took gold apart real easy uh, out here. They didn't. Uh, gold traded from 1,076. We're at 1,089 right now. We had gone to 1,097. And you have volume. Uh, what you have is this. This gold contract, January 8th, had a high of 1113. I suspect, number one, you're going to go after that high. We'll see, in fact, if that's going to be an ABC structure on the way up uh, as it goes after that high. Um, we go take a look at the silver contract. The silver contract absolutely um, is one of the most volatile contracts, has been, is all of the above. And what we have with silver is this. Silver got back above $14 today. You did, we went to $14.13. We've done 43,000 contracts. That's not bad, but guess what? It's got a hold price and it still hadn't held price. Bonds, now, bond market, folks, is just amazing. So check this out. 10-year bond got to a high today of 128.29. That, you know, the, the spike high thus far in the 10-year bond is 129.18. The closing price, the closing high in the bond, the 10-year this is, is 128.30. We're at 128.16. We've done 1.7 million contracts, which is good contracts. That says a couple different things. It says, number one, that yeah, you can go back up to this high and test it once again. Um, my take is that this thing should have got to the highs and it just couldn't get to the highs. So they're selling inside that bond market, which is really unusual when you have S&Ps that were down $53 uh, and the Dow Industrials was off over 500. 30 year bond, it's at a closing high, bottom line. Uh, we are at 159.07. Um, bottom line, that, that closes up there. You know what? Guess what? You can go, you can go higher. King dollar. What do you have with king dollar? What do you have with king dollar? King dollar couldn't hold price once again. King dollar traded from a price point of uh, 98.41 to 99.19. And that's going to be on the daily. Let's go take a look at this on the weekly because you get all these weeklies that can set up. On the weekly... You're at, uh, yeah, you're at 98, 98. Uh, the, doll, the King Dollar folks is having a really tough time getting over this uh, 99.34 mark. That's how this is kind of set up. Now picture what we have coming into this close out here. So the next uh, 50 minutes, this is what you have. The Dow's down 389 right now. The Nasdaq's down a buck 30. S&P's are down 43. The decisions that are going to be made are twofold. The first one, which is the largest one in the context, is that you shot the market. Are you going to close positions coming into this because you get three days? That's the first one. Second one is the trashing that it took down. Um, are there going to be buyers coming in saying, okay, I'm going to buy a little stock. I'm going to go over the weekend, come in Tuesday morning. It's going to be wild watching this thing shake out, folks, because what we have thus far off this low inside the E-minis is that you had the first thrust higher with juice behind it, with some good volume behind it. And that first thrust higher, there's a buyer in there, and that buyer is no retail buyer. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down uh, 439. The Nasdaq's up 147. S&P's are uh, down 49. And uh, one of the targets brought up... Uh, uh, a great thing in the den when I was going, given the scenarios of uh, what I thought was happening coming into the close. And the one scenario I didn't give, because uh, I had a hard time wrapping my head around uh, this all day, is buying. The, the, let's say if someone did buy, they're going to be selling into the close. So if someone did buy today, they better be selling into the close. Uh, you know, because, yes, I'm saying that a B to C is going to be happening on the way up. But it would seem... I just, it, no, no matter how many people like to buy the, the bounce, I just, I couldn't, hey, maybe they did. Maybe they did try to buy a bounce in here today. You know, uh, we'll find out real quick coming into this close. There's no doubt about it. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow. This is what you have inside the Dow. There's not one stock that's uh, in the positive. The laggard, the biggest one down is Intel. Intel's down uh, 9%. Uh, at uh, $2.93 cents at $29.80. DuPont is down 5.5%. $3.22 at $54. Bucks. You got Disney down 5.5%. Uh, $5.49 at $93.62. Let's go take a look at Disney. This is pretty amazing. You know, so Disney on August 24th had hit a low of uh, $90. Does a bounce to $120, fills the gap. Guess what? You get back down here. Disney is going to go right after that uh, swing low of uh, ninety dollars. Pretty intense. There's, there's no two ways about that. The uh, Microsoft uh, is down four percent at two forty-seven. The leader inside the Dow Industrials today, down least, is Home Depot. That's down seven tenths of one percent. Inside the NDX one hundred, uh, what you have inside the NDX one hundred, uh, you get Electronic Arts, Xilinx. And uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. They're the only ones that are up out of 100 stocks. Uh, leader on the way down there also is Intel. Uh, Micron Tech uh, is next, and that comes from the Intel numbers coming out last night. Micron Tech is down 94 cents at 11.08. Uh, NXPI is down 7.5%. Uh, That's down $5.80. And uh, INCY is down. 566. So there's, there's big numbers all over the place. Uh, JP Morgan, let's go take a look at uh, some of the uh, financials out here. JP Morgan, off the highs, volume's not that bad, picking up. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, you're down on big volume. These, this, uh, this August 24th, uh, you know, flash crash, these numbers are going to get hit. 
Transports. Let's go over to the transports because you got to remember the transports uh, not only are, are what started this, uh, you know, over a year and a half ago, that had come down, fast, furious, all of the above. Uh, what you have with the transports out here, let me just see them. So transports are down from 9,300. You're at 66. We've hit 65, 60 today into that low, huge volume. Now check this out. This is pretty cool. So the transports, folks, if you have my book, The Art of Time in the Trade, what happens is that whether you're going up or down, particularly going down, when you're looking for the first places that these things can stop, what you look for is where the supply and demand curve is, where I expect where it is, and that's the last time we had volume. Well, when you take a look at the transports, what you're going to see on a weekly basis is September of 2013, we had a high there of 6,592. You had volume of 133 million. Well, we went to 6,560. You're going to do it with 95 million versus 133 on the weekly. Okay? So when you're looking for clues inside the marketplace, it's like, what can these things do? That is an indication also that more than likely the transports are also going to bounce. Uh, oil, let's go take a look at that oil market. CLG. What we have with oil out here, uh, the, the oil market hit a low today of 29.13. You're at 29.71 right now, and we've done, ooh, hold one second, I make sure I get the right contract because the contract I just pulled up was really light. And oil, yeah, next, next month. So what happens with oil? Oil changes month by month, folks. Uh, and this one will have, it has some decent volume. So uh, this contract here, now check this out. Let me see, 30, 313,000 CG, just one second. Because what I'm trying to figure out here is uh, which, the rolls happened, 300, oh, that's interesting. So there is 600,000 uh, out here. That's. That's, that's big volume. That, there's no doubt that's big volume. So oil market is down a 4.5%. Heating oil is off 4. Gasoline is off 3.5. So check this out, folks. This is going to be amazing. This is amazing. That unleaded gasoline wholesale is at 105.58. Well, that's going to bring unleaded down. And that, and that price point, so check, out, check this out. This is pretty intense. In 10 days... The gasoline market went from 136 to 105. So bottom line, let's say they take another quarter off the unleaded gas at the pumps. We're going to see that. We're probably going to see that uh, next week, which is just absolutely amazing. And one of the uh, tigers in the den saying he has seen a pump price of 129. That's, that's about as good as you can get. One, well, hey, guess what? It might, might get better. Uh, some of the, uh, let's go to the XAU and the HUI. XAU. Uh, trading flat, $41.44. What we wanted to do with the XAU um, is take a look at the volume out here uh, yesterday, and we had light volume. So this is pretty cool because the XAU folks broke down on price yesterday. Uh, HUI, bottom line, didn't get to the lower swing point. And what we do have, uh, I suspect this is also going to be on lighter volume. So the, we did uh, 23 million shares which is going into 19 million, which is going into 18 million, which is going into 27 million. That's on the daily. So, and you still have a higher low. Um, if we take a look at the weeklies, thus far with 84 million. Now see on the weeklies, it's gonna have to, it needs a lot more volume because we did I won't even take the largest one. We, we, when we came, well, th this is the largest one. When we came off the lows um, in September, we did 192 million. We come back with 98 million, and they've done 84. That's saying that's saying that this uh, HUI is going to uh, hold those lows. You know, so uh, what will happen is this: Monday, markets are open across the world. Sunday night. Futures still open, so the, the market's going to be trading. Futures are going to be open. The uh, gold contract is going to tra trade. 
So there's going to be some real action out here uh, Monday. And, uh, you know, our markets, of course, open on Tuesday. Uh, you know, if we go overseas and we take a look at overseas, what you did have happening overseas last night, first you take a look at the uh, Shanghai. Shanghai is down 3.5% uh, at 29,000. And that, oh, this is, this is wild. That did exactly what our markets have done today. You know, it hasn't busted out this, this low yet. The, the low in Shanghai is uh, 2850. We got to 2883. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down 390. NASDAQ's off 128. S&Ps are down 42. We're going to be right back. O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 384. You get the NASDAQ off 126. S&Ps are down 41. And as we do each and every Friday at 30 past the first hour, we have our Mr. Steve Rhodes. Don't forget, folks, at TFNN. Live programming, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 at night. Tuesday, Thursday, 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night. All of it you can get right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi for the audio. Want to get Tiger TV? And check out Tiger TV, folks. It's fabulous. Just go to tfnn.com. You're going to see Watch Tiger TV. Hit that. You're going to get the audio, plus you get the, get the video. Steve does a great show every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. You can check him out. You can also... Test Driver's Newsletter, Marketing Probabilities, the way you do it, you go to TFNN, 
You go to newsletters, trading newsletters. You can test drive it 30 days, absolutely free. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, it was just like old times today. You know, one of the things, Tom, that I uh, missed the most about doing the uh, 8 a.m. to 10 o'clock, uh, 10 in the morning slot yeah. was, uh, you know, you'd have futures either, you know, trading, you know, much higher, much lower, and then the ability to come on the air and to uh, be able to explain and show people the different patterns that were going on, whether the move was real or it wasn't. And uh, today was just an ideal day because it's just like being back in that driver's seat. Because when I came on the air at 1 o'clock this afternoon, yes. I said, okay, here's what's going on in the market. And this was, this was I had the, the, the boob tube on in the background, and peop, they were scurrying around, uh, you know, wh where's the market headed, crashing, this. And, and it was nice to be able to come on the air and show uh, listeners, viewers, you yes. know, especially be able, you know, with Tiger TV to be able to show them that the market is forming a bottom right here, right now, at least intraday, at yes. least with regard to the push that was lower out there. And one of my favorite patterns, one that's worked really well during the last three days, has been. This is just simply off of a 30-minute chart, and, okay. and I want to, you know, talk to you know with you and to the listeners out there, you know about the longer term and the shorter term and in the shorter term when price moves uh, well, this this pattern works in all time frames when the price move when price is moving either higher or lower and doing it with less relative strength what i like is put together a series of patterns that show that on the screen we wait for the uh, cavalry or the bulls or the bears in this case here with markets pushing lower we wait for some type of bullish reversal signal it came right on cue just as we were coming out of the air at one o'clock, which was perfect this afternoon. And, uh, you know, gave a nice little piercing that candle out there. That's a bullish reversal signal. I like you. The, the, the piece of the Chapman wave that I like to use is is uh, Basil's rogue waves, these these G levels out there, okay. these seventh uh, wave moves. And they're really beautiful. So we had that. And then, and then you know, our man, Mr. John Logan, showed up the very next half hour at 1.30 with a new set of market profiles. That are bullish profiles when I take a look at them because I've got that point of control uh, that is closer to the support line, which is my chart here that folks are looking at, the blue versus the black. And, you know, it says inside the NQ, uh, it would not be a surprise to, well, 141.05 ought to hold the support, even coming into the close here, if the markets decide to push lower. And we ought to see price push up into the 41.75 level. So it was just a lot of fun to be able to come on the air and take a look at whether it was the NQ or the Yes, uh, and as well as other signals to be able to share that with folks out there. No doubt. So, uh, and you know, just well, like being it, back in the driver's seat. What's going to get? Tom, that's it, on the short. Go ahead. Go ahead, Steve. No, no, you, you go ahead. No, sorry. I was going to say what, what, but, but that's on the short term. And what people, you know, the, the, the last two weeks, obviously, substantial damage. And if folks are looking at, at my screen here right now, and I want to show two screens, this here, these six panels show the different indices. And the red diagonal lines from uh, lower left to upper right show the long-term trend lines. And we can see that the Dow is firmly below its trend line. That's the upper panel out here. If you move over to the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 now is going to close below its trend line out here. The NASDAQ composite, it has not. That's the upper right. The Dow Transports, I heard you mention that as I was, uh, as I was uh, coming on the air. Uh, that has clearly finally broken its trend line this week. Looks like that's going to head all the way back to about the 5487 level. The New York Stock Exchange has broken its trend. If I switch over to this other panel out here, we're going to see same thing across the uh, globe. You've got the FTSE, which broke its trend quite a while ago, back in June of 2015. The uh, Shanghai is now down well below its trend line. The same thing in the Hang Seng, the same thing inside the uh, Nikkei. So we've got these long-term trend lines that are breaking. And when those break, um, it's very significant. And that's what, uh, you know, so these different bounces that when we talk about it on uh, the air, you know, I, I want to make sure that we're putting in, per that people that are listening on the other side, that it's being put in perspective. Because my call now with regard to the trend lines that are being broken, for the Dow as an example, the Dow has been really trading in a sideways consolidation range since about uh, November of 2013, from about the 15 uh, uh, 555 level all the way up into about 18.2. Yes. So when and if if those August lows get taken out, uh, which looks like it's a uh, foregone conclusion here, that is actually going to set up. Not only are we going to go back and test the highs of 2007 the October high, we're likely going to fall down below that level. 
probably into about the 12, 880-ish type range out there. Because when consolidations are broken, uh, you know, that gives us a nice measured move uh, to the uh, downside. So what... Uh, you know, I just hope that uh, that that listeners out there are doing uh, everything they can to when when they see certain levels get broken, such as the August lows, let's say in the Dow or the S and P 500, that they're ready to take some type of proactive action out there. Well, you know, the, those, what I was going to say is the, the the amazing part. You know, when you look at markets, like and I know you love candlestick charting. Those three yes. black crows, man. Yes. They're not only there. What they have, folks, is your, your probability is dramatically higher that that's what you're looking at. And if that, you know, my take is that that's what we've been looking at. Uh, bottom line is that a three black crow pattern after a test, folks, is a disaster. That's, that's yeah. you know, and... Yeah. yeah, you know, and and, and you know, uh, look, uh, the 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 mainstream media, you know, people that get paraded on television, they're going to tell folks you have to stay in the market, you can't time the market. You know, things of that sort out here. When these trend lines get broken, because we can go back historically and take a look at it, you know, if folks just paid attention to just the simple things like that, when those trend lines get broken, maybe you're not going to time the bottom tick out here. But, uh, you know, the the the, save the a lot chances. Of money, though. I'm with yeah, right. Yeah, go to go to cash and come back in right. at fifteen fifty three in the S and P five hundred. Yeah, maybe that's not the bottom tick, but that's a heck of a that's another. I don't even know what the percentage is. Uh, it's, you know, it's, move out yeah, there. Yeah, it's 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 big, and and that's and that's and that's where folks. You know, I, you know, I was saw a couple of friends the other night, Steve. <laughs> I'm leaving this saying, what's wrong with the market? Yes. I'm saying to myself, man, if you are not shot in your long, just get out. And because here we go again. And I know I had said this yesterday, and I'm leaving. I walk outside, I can't believe it that, you know, I was just so cut and dry, man. And I, I know they're probably scratching their heads because I hadn't seen them for a while, but it just happened that I had to go do something at that point. But yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, no. You know, it was yeah, like, it, oh, man. And, you know, it's, it's, Hey, it is what it is. That's the bottom line. You know what's going to be really weird, though, is that it's like every seven years, if this is the thing. And it's not, there's nothing that ever, you know, it's yes. like that probably just happens, folks, okay? But it is kind of strange. You know, you have 2000, 2007, it now it's 2000. And 14, well, you get 2008, 2016, do you know what I mean? It's like and, and the last thing I'll point out is yesterday is a perfect example of a, uh, of a tremendous rally that we saw. And we're going to see more of those. And so I just want people to be able to anticipate that and know that that's just a part of this deal as we continue to still move lower in the markets out here. Yeah, no doubt. So, and listen, yeah. folks, you can come over and test drive Steve's newsletter right now. Check it out now. You can check it out all weekend long. Go to TFNN, go to newsletters, go to Master and Probabilities. Steve, have a great weekend, safe too, weekend. Tom. Look for the show Tuesday. Thanks. Bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is off uh, 420, Nasdaq's on 135, SPs are off 45. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right in the front and the carousel. Join David White for a um, special live 60 minute subscriber event uh this subscriber event folks is going to be um about using shot volume meaning the characteristic of shot volume to profit on both sides of the market now this is going to be next wednesday night 5 30 to 6 30 eastern standard time uh you can come over to our website over the weekend you can test drive daily um david's Newsletters, you can test drive one, you can test drive two. One is the Path of Least Resistance, which is a trading newsletter. The second one is the Tech Insider, which is an investment newsletter. You can test drive those free. That will get you into the event. The event's going to be Wednesday night, 5.30 to 6.30. If you can't make it live, it will be archived on your page for one full month. So check it out uh, because what we also have now, this is going to be pretty cool, folks. So picture, you have Friday here. World markets are open Monday. Our markets are closed. Option expiration is next Friday. So when you take a look at the range that we have just had in one week, the range being, well, let's, let's take it. I'm going to take it for two weeks. Uh, let's take this whole, from, we were at 2081 and the cash S&P, uh, the 29th of December. We're at, uh, we got to 1857. So you're talking monster numbers, right? On the way down. Now, what's cool about option expiration, of course, is that you're talking options number one, but you are also talking that on time value, we are coming back on a Tuesday. So on time value, you're only talking four days inside the option market. So you are going to see the premiums you know, will be, there'll be some premium in them because the VIX right now is up $4 at $27. That being said, the premiums, because of only four days, um, will not be that bad. And when I say not that bad, in the context that you can see moves, because the moves that we've had each and every day, like if we look at percentage moves out here today, you have the Dow down two and a half percent. The Nasdaq's down three point. I mean, two point eight. It was down three point five. Uh, the S and P's are down two. You can see moves of two or three percent, and we will have those moves now. Um, and during option expiration, now, now watch how cool this is. What happens in option expiration, folks, is this: you have two two different phenomena setting up. If I if I bring up the three Q's and just show you the three Q's and how markets can move around, because the Qs, the Diamonds, the Spies, they trade penny wide inside the option market. And penny wide, of course, 
with wide-ranging buys inside the option market right now is just unbelievable. Why? Because you buy an option, and let's say uh, right now they're, let's see, the hundreds. Oh, my God. Oh, these, these are the weeklies. One second. The, the bottom line is that instead of putting up, um, you know, $100,000 for 100, I mean, 1,000 shares of the Qs, the bottom line is that you're putting up about 500 bucks. Uh, when you can do that, and I'm not just talking you and I, I'm talking about large operators in the marketplace, how they push the market around during option expiration is really wild because what you can do, first, first you line up the trade. So, you, you know, you line up the trade whether you want to be bullish or bearish. I suspect most of them are going to be basically lining this up on a bullish pot because you don't have to push the market that far Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to double, triple inside that option space. You line it up, and then what do you do? After you line it up, you go in the equity market when the equity market is open, and you're pushing, pushing, pushing. You're pushing those spikes, and as you're pushing those spikes in, meaning you're buying, you're pushing the options out the other side. And I expect you're going to see that, and you're going to see quite a bit of it next week. Um, we go over to the uh, XL, oh, let's go there. Actually, let's go to ExxonMobil, because ExxonMobil, huge day yesterday. ExxonMobil goes up uh, four bucks yesterday, gives back a buck seventy-five today. You're trading at seventy-seven dollars and uh, forty-seven cents. We put this on a weekly. Let's see what she's looking at, like on a weekly. So on a weekly, yeah, you have a rejection of uh, seventy-three seventy-nine, and you know this thing wants to go higher. You know, eighty-two bucks. You're at seventy-seven. You put it on Chevron. Chevron was the big mover yesterday. Gave it all up today. Um, and, you know, Chevron has actually rejected lower price today on the daily and will have lighter volume. We, Chevron traded down to $80.87. Right now it's at $83.42. You put this on a weekly. And, yeah, as long as it stays above... All they had to do is stay above the uh, last week's close, which is 81.22. If Chevron could get back inside uh, 84.25, that would be that would be pretty intense. And this is what the difference is: Chevron does have a high volume spike at $90 to $98. $90 is a low of the high volume spike from November 6th. The high of that is uh, 98. Yeah. So uh, the ticks out here. So w when you get a longer term bottom, folks, what ends up happening, and we're not even close to one, okay? Um, we've had another large down tick out here today. What we haven't had uh, across the table, a large arms readings. And so that means that people still are buying this, which is just amazing. Uh, when you add up a five day arms, what you're looking for is that you're looking for something into a 12, a 14. We're not even going to be close to that, you know. So, um, if we go back in, inside those S and P's, we take a look at those S and P's uh, on a longer-term basis. We pull up the spy. If I put this up, you're going to see what's gleaming out, and it's gleaming out in an incredible way. Uh, it's just hanging out here. And you know, it's 1,300 S and P. That's, I mean, on on the way up. That's the last time we had any juice. And it was August of 2011. In the August 2011 area, folks, is still so far down, it's amazing. You know, some equities have hit that area. Let's, let me look at the Qs for a second. Uh, but compared to where we are right now, that's a long time down. So I suspect, you know, this thing is only just starting. That's the way this uh, looks uh, out here. Uh, the Qs, first, we'll have to make it down to the... Uh, $90 area. Nine, the $90 area in the queues, you know, it's going to need some juice to break that. That was the low that was established in October of 2014. You know, we certainly don't have any volume at the highs. It's coming off the highs, and it's coming off those highs with big volume. Uh, if we, if, you know, if we break down at that 90 mark, then what also happens with the queues, then the queues are talking 58. And 58 the high was 115. You can see that you're talking about huge amounts of paper profits are uh, gone, or, or real money gone, either or.
This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow down 385. You get the Nasdaq off 125. S&Ps are down uh, 41. Gold contract up $15. And if you do want to test the gold report, folks, check it out over the weekend. Go to newsletters, investment newsletters, test drive the gold report 30 days absolutely free. Coming right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, no matter where you're out in the world, get Tiger TV. Just go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. If you do enjoy uh, TFNN, folks, please tell three people. We really do appreciate it. Volume. Let's go take a look at the indice volume where we're going to come in here. We are going to come in, um, let's see, we're going to come in with about 1.2 billion. That shot volume because what you are doing is that you're going into uh, the August 24th level, folks. And uh, bottom line, that's uh, 1.6 in the NYSE. When we're talking about the NASDAQ composite, the composite uh, has some juice underneath it. That's two point, we're going to probably do about 2.7 in the composite, I believe that we're going into a 3.8 though, 3.45, you know. So, uh, straight line move down, no doubt about that. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see uh, how and this bounce comes in. I know it sounds uh, uh, insane that you're gonna get a bounce, but guess what? That's just how it goes, folks. Uh, the thing that's amazing, that, that you wanna wrap your head around a little here too, what does happen is this, each and every time that you're testing these lows out. And what you don't get is just a trash in beyond belief. I mean, I know this has been down dramatically, okay, and it feels like a trash in beyond belief. 
Um, but what the market has done is that it got under all the lows, including the lows of yesterday, of 1871. It spikes down, and when it spiked down at 12:30 today, folks, it didn't have the juice. You know, the, the first spike down at 68,000 contracts, and the futures market. But that's not the number. The number it had to blow away 183,000 contracts, and now what's happened is that now you're on the other side, and this is where this close is going to come in, which is going to be really wild. Your close, the low of yesterday, was 1871. Well, we're a point and a half above it right now. You know, you know, we'll see whether we can hold that. And I know that, you know, he's, he's saying, hey, a point and a half, what is that? Well, technically, it's, it's a big deal. It's, t it's a big deal because two different reasons. You got below that today, and when you got below that, you only stayed there for a split second. You know, you, we went from uh, the 1849 area, the next 10 minute buy, you're already up 11 handles in the S&P. You were at, uh, you went from 1849 to 1859 in a heartbeat. Built a little cause, then did the next spike at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, you know. Um, and so, uh, yeah, our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavote, if you hadn't heard Larry, he's on at nine o'clock every day. Uh, no doubt, Larry, Larry was uh, looking to 500 point down day. And he, guess what, he got it. The Dow Industrials out here, uh, bottom line, got down to a price point today of 15,000. 842. Uh, and when you do, do take a look at the Dow, if you want the correlation uh, inside the Dow as to what you know, a longer term basis is, folks, you know, you're talking about 12,282. That's, that's kind of where the 1300 S&P lines up. You know, and of course the Dow had hit a high of 18,350. You know, it, it, that's, that's, that's a hit. That's a, you know, 30% hit. And when you do take a look at, you know, uh, we were talking with Steve about the three black crows. The three black crows are in place, number one. And it doesn't matter whether you look at the 50-day, the 200-day, all of the above. All those had broken. And uh, bottom line is that now there's more destruction that's done. You know, so take it for whatever it's worth. You're, you're a long-term investor in the, inside this market. Just get a stop in. That's, that's the best thing. And so the scenario on a stop goes like this, folks. The bottom line is that if, in fact, the market goes higher, all you're doing with the stop is this. You're giving up any upward side in the marketplace to protect and have an insurance policy that your bread doesn't go south. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, great weekend, safe weekend. Look for the speaking right back here Tuesday morning. Go get them, folks.